You ever just come across some dickhead who plays a three stock, three minute match, gets one kill, and then decides to camp you out for the rest of the match with their character's superior air mobility? And then leaves? You ever come across a pretty good player who's a goddamn ignoramus because he plays on random stages, and then he falcon punches you from the fear of being walked off? Then leaves? And all I have to say is, don't do that. If you're one of those people, stop it. Get some help. Eat McDonald's. Smash Ultimate's online service is great. It's fantastic. It allows me and a bunch of other people around the world who lack the proper socialization skills necessary to have friends to play a land-based game online. It's where I collect a majority of the footage from my Smash-related videos, but it's got a couple of problems, so I'm gonna talk about it. On average, Smash Ultimate has the best peer-to-peer -peer connection in the series, much better than the good old days of Brawl. But none of that matters, because guess what they decided to do? They added in a built-in buffer system to the game. So not only do we have the internet buffering, but now we get to stack that on with the game's natural buffering. It's a goddamn buffer sandwich. It feels like two completely different games. There's Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Online Edition. Which is pretty good because for the price of $60, you get two new Nintendo games, which is something you really don't see nowadays. Alright, so just take all of the moves in the game, fast, slow, average, whatever, and just slap a bunch of frames on it, and bada bing bada boom, we're playing Ultimate Online Edition. It becomes much harder to do precise movements, out of shield punishes, and big combos, so people will just opt to use big obnoxious moves over and over, cause who's gonna punish it, you? Certainly not me, there's lag all over the floor. Or maybe I'm just really bad at the game. Projectiles are impossible to dodge in this game. People just want to guile in the corner, throwing bombs, rangs, nades, lasers and shit. And all I want to do is run up, close the distance, maybe play the game with the person, I don't know. But run up shield times lag plus pause buffer equals not gonna happen, buddy. Not on reaction, at least. You gotta guess where the projectiles are gonna go, and it just becomes a boring guessing game. And yes, I know I'm just complaining about the game and how people play. Yes, I know I belong on scrub quotes, but it's just so frustrating because everyone online is just a dickhead. Shall we dance? Okay, you got me, you got me. Not bad, not bad. What did you ch That little child bitch! They took taunting out of online, but people find ways that seem to be more tilt-inducing than actual taunts. Crouching repeatedly is the classic in the game. Some people like the word taunts before and after, and there are also lots of character-specific ones like crawling on the floor. And they are just dickhead moves. My favorite personally is the Kirby turnaround dance. He's just such a cute small puffball and a little asshole all at the same time. Uh-oh. Have I become the dickhead? Well... You know what they say, you either quit online a sane person, or you play long enough to see yourself become a dickhead. Alright guys, that's it. I'm done. I'm quitting this. I don't want to be a dickhead. I'm leaving. Later, man. Great birthdays without him! He never even sent me a damn card! Die out with him! Like, leaving during the game? That's fine. They get leaver's punishment, and it's usually because they're losing and salty. No, they're fine. The true scum of the earth are the people who later you after the first game. I cannot explain this feeling, but I become absolutely livid when people leave after the first game. Like, just finish the set, please! There are two situations this is mind-blowingly painful. The first one is when you lose, but it was close. Oh wow, that was a close game. You got lucky this time, but I'm gonna run that shit back in the set. What? Who hurt? Who hurt you? And why'd you have to hurt me so badly? The second and most painful is when the person, maybe not as good as you think, you think you're way above them, but they're playing a heavy or a sortie or whatever, and they're just kind of hitting buttons, but you know, you're having an off game, there's lag on the floor, hair in your eye, whatever, and you just get absolutely destroyed. 
and then they just fucking leave before you can get the chance for revenge because you know that they just got lucky and the lag makes the game feel completely different and way harder and you can't punish their bullshit moves that they just keep spamming and I know this sounds like bitching but it's true it happens I was gonna win he got lucky I had lag in my eye the dog barking it scared me my controller exploded I'm looking bad on purpose for YouTube but now I'm gonna actually try but you left why 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 why? Well, it's not because of the online people you don't know, but the online people you do know. It's about coming home, chilling with the homies in Discord, playing some rounds, and having a good time. Even if it does get heated, LAN and online will always be different, and I think it's important to just have a more positive, carefree attitude, not try as hard online. And I think the best thing you can do, personally, is take a friend online with you and go find some double zombies and just troll and have fun. And that's what I'm actually going to leave you guys with. A small montage of my friend and I doing just that. This is going to be the end of me talking in the video. I just wanted to give you guys a quick warning that I had a couple of technical problems and there's not going to be really any game audio because I recorded on the same track as my friend and I made it way lower than his voice so you're not really going to hear it. And just, I apologize about my mic quality because I didn't have an elite gamer mic set up for my good mic. I'm just using a headset. But I think it's still pretty funny, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. I just wanted to take a small brief for making character-based videos, rethink and revamp how they are, and just make them a little bit better. And this was a nice, refreshing change of pace. So, in the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, enjoy the friend -tage. Hope to see you guys next time. Peace out. Three, two, one, go. Let it rip. You see him though, the phone with the red background? That's his dad. What is up, dog? Three, three two, two, one. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. The relay launcher. <laughs> Not a boy in this world can save you now. Here, let me go sock on him up a bit. <laughs> Don't worry about this rat character. <laughs> you see my face? <laughs> what happened to you? Alright, well, we're all kicking up on the phone. <laughs> she didn't want to be part of this massacre. <laughs> this even knows what's about to happen. It's like, uh, I want no part of it. <laughs> hey, Dylan, come chill with me. I will defend you, my liege. I can't, I can't be. <laughs> <laughs> defend me. Defend me, minion. <laughs> there, now my face is in it. <laughs> 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 we need a new minion. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! He saved me. <laughs> <laughs> Behold, a king's resolve. Even though he's charging his up smash, I will not do anything. I gotta take all your stocks so Lucina can't. Oh. Oh, he's got two any... lives. I don't have any more stocks. Uh, I probably should have gave you one still. You gotta take him to the Thunderdome. Dude, knock him into the air, and then he'll air dodge. And then you'll take him to the Thunderdome. <laughs> <laughs> Your final smash is so strong. <laughs> final face smash. <laughs> If they're just gonna kick people, if they're just gonna be dickholes, I don't know what to do. Do you want to just make an arena? I I think that's what we have to do, and until then, we'll just scrap. <laughs>